got the half marathon out of the way at the McGrath Running Festival and we're about to get underway with the 10k. Really good field and obviously we are, we are so lucky to have a dual Australian record holder on the start line in Brett Robinson. Yeah, obviously like, like Caleb Athlete, Brett's had an incredible last two years, um, whether it be over a 10, uh, half or obviously the marathon where he beat uh, Rob DiCostello's uh, record last year. He's, uh, he's a top athlete, he's one of the best in the world, so we're privileged to have him down here. And then you look at the women's field as well, unfortunately late out with um, Izzy Bat Doyle falling ill overnight, um, but Lisa Jane Waitman um, taking on uh, Leon Pompiani. One of the things that we must say is this is an extremely flat and an extremely fast course. There's probably not a, a better course in Tasmania. Bernie's got some hills, obviously run the bridge as well, well documented for the hills there. This is the, the probably the premier 10k course in, in Tassie. Obviously they look like they've dropped Andre while we just went to that interview. So 10 minutes in, about a third of the way and they've, they've dropped Andre who's probably one touted that was going to rival Brett. As we've said, like Leanne's in fantastic form, two PBs in the in the five and the ten, both in the US in the last month, and they've just turned at 14.20, so it's very, very close to this race record, and I, I know Brett, deep down, be really keen to take Jack's race record. Jimmy looks 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 comfortable, looks strong. Um, Brett does look like he's, he's probably doing it the easiest at the moment, just by the facial expressions. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a trick run to unfold, but yeah, as you say, if it came down to a sprint, uh, out of those three, I'd, I'd be picking Jimbo. Look at Jimbo, he's looking he's looking pretty relaxed. He's the one that's pushing the pace now. Um, he did this sort of probably a little bit earlier last year. We can't see Lisa in, in the camera vision, so it looks like it's a, a one-person race, but she looks quite comfortable. And Brett's gone now. He's just had a little look, and he's put on the afterburners. We're going to see if Jimbo can go with him. The Brett is a, a calibre of athlete above. We're talking about a, an Oceana record holder. This is going to be a race record, and unofficially it's going to be 28-12, which is... 20 seconds off that race record. They were behind it at halfway and he's smashed that race record. Holds both of them now. Ed Marks in second and James Hansen, 28-21. It's going to be very, very close. There is a chance that this is a double race record that goes down today. Uh, now, so she's almost at the finish line. She's going to come through and she needs 31-49. But this is going to be 31-30. Seven, seven, or eight, eight. It's somewhere still race there. record. So race that's, um, record. That's huge. So ten seconds off. Thirty-one minutes and thirty-eight seconds. A new official personal best. You are the fastest female to ever run ten kilometres on Australian soil. How's that feel? Feels pretty good. Yeah, that was the I, that was on my mind. And you know, like you said before the race, it's a great day. So if you feel good, just go for it. We'll let that soak in for you. Congratulations. We'll chat more with you later on, but congratulations, that is so good. 31-38, you are the fastest female ever in Australia.